Hey everybody, it's Kevin Machado. I just wanted to give you a quick update here on our market and just wish you a very happy August. August is uh, an interesting time. We're all getting ready for back to school, back to work, all those kinds of things. And with real estate, it's a little bit of a, of a pause time in, in our real estate season. So um, we see our market really ramps up there into the early summer and then July and August, things taper down a bit until we come back up September, October, November, until we get that cold minus 20 weather, which we don't need to speak of right now. But I wanted to give you a quick update to let you know how things have progressed so far for our market and maybe a little bit of insight into what we expect here for the rest of this year. So so this month, what we're seeing now is, is we've seen our inventory and our demand drop, which is uh, interesting. So these are actually looking at July numbers. So. Um, we've seen things taper off a little bit. So what it's done is we're still in a seller's market. We still have 3.6 months of inventory and anything that's under four months is a seller's market. So we still have a seller's market, but we moved up from in the high twos. So we're having more inventory. So um, there's more properties out there for buyers. If a buyer is looking, this is actually a good opportunity. Opportunities that we haven't seen throughout the uh, the first part of 2021. Um, but we still have it as a market that is strong. And what that means is we've seen our prices, our prices uh, are still remaining strong. Single family, our average price is right around that $476,000. And um, yeah, our price is up year over year. Again, we have to take COVID into play, but year over year, we're up just under 7%. And then month over month, we've just tapered down a little bit, about 3% month over month that we've gone down for single family pricing. So what does all of this mean as we look into our fall? So what all of this means is we're seeing more inventory, which is good for buyers. We're, uh, there's opportunities here for buyers um, to potentially get a property that you wouldn't have been able to get if you weren't super fast last few months. Uh, so there's opportunity for buyers. Sellers you need to be mindful of what you're doing to get your house ready to sell. It's not like it was back in the spring where you have a house that has a door or maybe not even a door and you put it up for sale and there was five offers on it. It's a little bit of a different circumstance now. You want to make sure that you're marketed properly and I've mentioned this before. You want to get your marketing right, you want to get your pricing right, and you want to come to the market with a bang. You don't want to kind of limp to market with half these things done. You want to come and give it your best shot right at the beginning because in that first week to two weeks that's when you're going to see the most amount of traffic and your most possibility to get a multiple offer scenario so i hope this information is helpful we're seeing our prices um we're kind of moderate so we're, we're still in the 470s for active single family pricings for sales um, our demand has shrunk but also our supply so we're seeing a little bit there and as we go into the fall i anticipate we're going to see some strength everyone coming back to school it's going to kind of ramp things up a bit we're going to see some strength to finish off 2021 so if you have any questions or um, you need anything or you just want to share your greatest coffee tip as i'm sipping on my coffee making this video for you don't hesitate to reach out I'd love to hear from you and um, and then also we just want to give a big shout out to all my clients and everyone who refers me it, it means the world to me so thank you so much enjoy the rest of these last few days of summer and uh, we'll talk to you again soon bye bye